Hi, welcome to Art Draw. Today we're going to draw Clint Barton from Hawkeye and also in Fortnite. So let's go in there, let's go and do his face. Let's do his eyebrows first of all. I'm going to pop an eyebrow in on the right hand side up and down. I'm going to do the same on the other side, so I'm going to work up and down. Then I'm going to draw a curve just underneath, which is going to be his eyes, like so. Then I'm going to do two little black dots for his eyes there. Okay, that's cool. Let's do his nose. So his nose is probably going to be about here. Let's do a little arrow head for his nose. That's good. And then maybe a little line up as well, just to show his nose there. Okay, next of all, let's have a look. Let's do a little mark there and a little mark there. This is where his hair is going to go. So let's go up here for the side of his hair and up there. Same on this side, curve up. Then his hair kind of goes up to a point in the middle there. So I'll just put a little dot in there. And what I'm going to do now is just going to do chunky hair style like so and work that one up as well. Sort of go in a zigzag up there. Then we can pop his hairline in, so I can just do a line from here to here, like so. And then this side, I can maybe just put some texture in as well, like that. And I can do a few lines there too. Okay, that's cool, I like it. Okay, next up, let's have a think. Let's do the rest of his face. So I think his chin's probably gonna be about here. Just pop a little dot in. And I'm gonna do a line from his cheek down there, from his jaw to his chin. So let's do a line down there and around and do the same thing, line down and around. Nice, okay. Let's pop his uh, mouth in. It's quite a stern look he's got on his mouth. So I'm gonna do a slight line up and around like that. That's cool. Let's pop some ears in. So I'm just gonna do like little oblongs just alongside that. Maybe just a little line underneath the mouth, uh, mouth as well. Let's put a couple of cheekbones in, just like so. Okay, that looks good. Let's do his neck. So just a line down, a line down. Let's just put a circle around, join it up, a bit of a semicircle, like so. Okay, that's nice. Right, let's look at his shoulders. So I think his shoulders probably come out to about here. So I'm gonna do a line out to there. And this side the same, a line out to there. Okay, next up, let's do his torso. So I think his chest probably starts about here, about here, and his torso is probably about there. So let's draw, maybe about here, let's draw curve down to his torso there. Same on this side, I'm gonna do a curve down to here. A curve down to there, got his torso in there now. Let's do his belt. So just a line across and another line We've got his belt sorted out. Okay, next up, let's do his legs. So let's do his right leg to his knee. So starting about here, I think his knee should be about there-ish. So just gonna do a line to here. And on this side, just gonna join it up here. Then on this side, I'm gonna do the same. So again, let's do a line down and join up from the belt to the knee area there. Let's do the bottom of his shoes, uh, down, bottom of his trousers down to his shoes. So again, just do a line there, and a line up, and here, just do a line down, and a line down. Okay, that looks good. He's got trousers on with shoes, so I'm just gonna draw two lines with his trousers then. Let's think about his shoe area. So, quite big chunky shoes. So, I'm gonna just, curve there around the front of his shoe and to here the heel and then down from the trouser leg to the bottom let's do the same on this side so we're going to go down here that's the heel of his shoe around here toe cap up and around a line there for the toe caps and the shoes got laces so we can just put a couple of laces in let's do three there Three on this side. Just gonna draw in where his heel is as well there. All right, excellent, okay. Next up, let's do those arms. So the bicep, 
So it ends about here, I think. So I'm just going to do a line down to here and the shoulder down to the elbow area of his arm here. Cool. Let's do the same on this side. Down here and up. Okay, nice. Let's do his arm area. So he's from the inner part of his arm down to his wrist. And this the same thing from here to his elbow. Cool, let's do his hands. So I'm gonna draw his thumb in, like so. Then I'm just gonna curve around and put some fingers in, just like that. This is joined up where his sleeve sort of comes down where his thumb is. So I'm just gonna do a line there and a line there. And he does have a communicator on, so I'm just gonna do a bit of an oblong area there. We can just fill that area in. And the same here. Bit of a glove area there. Okay, let's do the other hand. So that's the elbow area around here. Let's draw this part to here. And the same thing here. Just draw that up. Okay, good. And I'm gonna have his fist sort of a bit a bit clenched, I think. So I'm gonna do a thumb around like that. And then just bring his fingers around like so. This is joined up as well, so I'm gonna just put a bit there, a bit there. Okay, nice. Let's do um, the arrows on his back, a bit of his back, bit of back bling there. A line there, down, down. Then he has four arrows, so I'm gonna do four lines, okay? I'm gonna do just one either side of this. So there's like one line there, line here, line here, and a line there. Cool. Then we're going to do the arrow uh, ends there. So they're like triangles. One, two, three, four. And then just going to do a couple of lines where they end there. This part here too, just colour that in black. Nice, okay. Let's do the detail on his clothing now. So he has like a V shape on his chest. So I'm gonna pop that V in, first of all, just right in the center there. That's gonna join up here and here. This then moves to the center of his chest. So I think I'm gonna go do a line there, do a line here, and then join up straight line here straight line here. Then there's a couple more lines like this. And then he's got some more like arrows going on in the center here. So one, two, three. Then he's got a proper purpley arrow piece going on here. So I'm gonna do a line down here, line down here. And then if I pop that there, I'm gonna join these up like so. Okay, that's good. This then joins up to the neck part, there to the neck part. Now he's got, perp oh, he's got um, an area here where this part of his arrows is joined up, so you can color that in black. Then a line here, line here. On his arm, this will go to there, and then we're gonna take this down to the bicep and around. So, and on this side, start here in this corner, go up, down, just come in again, and then we can move down to here, and then that can be going in there. Nice. Okay, with the belt, he's got a couple of rectangles in there, so I'm just going to put a couple of rectangles in, fill them in black. And then just a bit of detail, I think, on his uh, trouser area. Let's just put some pockets in his trousers, like so. Okay, nice. Let's just put him in the ground him on the floor there. Cool, that looks good. Right, let's do some colours. First of all, let's get skin tones. Just going to do the thumbs and the face area here. So get a skin colour pen, 
just color in. I'm going to leave a little bit of light on the left hand side and just where his eye area is too. I'm not going to I'm just going to go around that like so. The rest of that I can color in. Cool. Let's do his thumb and a thumb here and a finger here. Next up, let's do some of those nice purples. So let's get a purple pen. I've got a lighter purple. I'm going to use a light purple and I think a bit of a dark purple as well for a bit of shading. So right on here, this is a good bit. Let's colour this piece in. Like so, up here and here. And then the arrowheads, they're purple too. Okay, these parts of his arms are here and here are purple, so I'm going to colour this in. And just down here. And then this side too. Leave a little bit of light just along there. Okay, good. Right, next up, let's get a brown for his hair. So let's colour the brown hair in. Okay, I'm just gonna leave a little bit. On the left hand side, make it pop a bit. Okay. Let's have a thing. Let's get a grey. See what we can do now. This has got quite a lot of black area on him. So all the other elements here, I'm going to colour in using a sort of dark grey. So I still keep a bit of that detail that we've done in the black. So grey there. Let's colour the arms in. And uh, this area here. And this area here. Down here, cool. and then maybe where the trousers are, let's leave a little bit of white go down here and the shoes as well, and maybe here too. Do the same sort of thing. Colour those in. Nice. Okay. Next up, let's get a black. And let's put some of those areas in. Let's just fill in some parts of this so we can just put in some sort of shaded areas just under there. Just in there. And then maybe just in this area here too. Just a few little black areas. Just to show that off. Same with the inner part of the leg. Just put some black in there. And here as well. You can also do little bit just here maybe just where the neck area is just fill that in a bit show a bit of detail off yeah that's good maybe I'll do that bit there too okay that's good all right let's get dark purple just put a few little shading marks on where the purple areas are so just go around there around here I think as well I can join up just a little bit of detail on this jacket just like that. It's also got some of the area here which we can just pop in here. Okay, nice. All right, let's just put a little bit more in where the arrows are. Good, okay, nice. Right, 
Finally, let's pop a little bit of blue in just to give the pick a bit of a pop. There's on a blue icy floor, let's say. There we go. Nice one, okay. And that is Hawkeye. On our draw. Thanks for watching.